Oscar TV at the Peterborough Speedway stop number seven in the 2013 Oscar Super Late Model Tour. And standing alongside the winner of the 50 lap A main, Brandon Watson. Brandon, uh, fourth feature win of the season uh, this year. Uh, an impressive showing for you guys tonight. Uh, you started third uh, uh, for the 50 lap A main and just ran away with the feature from there. I mean, uh, what, what was it that was able to make this car so strong tonight? Um, we made a few adjustments during the heat, uh, in between the heat races and the feature. Uh, we were struggling a bit in the heat races. We were able to come in the second and third, but um, like I said, we made a few adjustments and uh, we were lucky enough to get it spot on tonight. Our car was car was really good. Um, we were able to lead, uh, I think, all the laps or so, um, and uh, we just never looked back. We won feature. It looked like early on you had the car pretty much right down to the bottom of the racetrack, but uh, it looked like you drifted maybe about a, a half a lane off the bottom towards the end. Uh, what was what made your decision uh, to be able to, to do that? Uh, it was just... I think it's just the car. Um, I think the track was also a bit tight in one and two there. Um, it just uh, it just did what it did. Um, I didn't want to force it down, get it loose. So uh, we we're just trying to keep consistent during the race, kind of keep our tires on it, and uh, we were able to come out of the win. In the first corner of the race, uh, the, the top two drivers, uh, Kevin Cordelis and Derek Teamersma, got together, made contact uh, uh, through turns one and, and uh, off of turn number two, and you benefited from that, and that you took the lead, and then uh, on the restart, you were you sat second there. I mean, uh, what did you see in that incident? And you must have had a, a little bit of a nervous moment there when you saw two cars get together uh, right in front of you. Yeah, it definitely was a, um, a nervous moment for me. Uh, they were uh, they were banging, coming down the straightaway and going in the corner. wasn't sure what was going to happen. I uh, just tried to leave uh, half a car length or something in there and uh, we were able to squeak by him on the inside um, and like you said it did work out for us in the end uh, um, and uh, unfortunately it had to happen but uh, it, like I said it did work out for in the end. You'll go for uh, win number five next uh, Sunday afternoon at Kawartha Speedway and I know you absolutely love going to that racetrack. Uh, uh, you ran there for, for a year year's time uh, in a limited late model uh, and then uh, last year you were the winner of the Don Beaton Memorial there. I mean, what is it about Kawartha Speedway that seems to suit your driving style or what about the racetrack do you like? Um, uh, I raced there for a couple years. Um, I raced there one year full time in the late model. Uh, I always, I always like that track, nice, big, smooth. Um, and I, it's just always fun going there. We always have a, always have a good run. Uh, we always have a good car there. So let's see how it goes tomorrow and try and, uh, like I said, come out with our fifth win of the year. Now I know uh, you obviously love to thank your crew members for helping you out tonight. And you talked about the changes they made uh, to make this car a winning car tonight. Uh, and of course, your sponsors. I know you love to thank them. Yeah, of course. Uh, I always like to thank my crew. They did a great job, like I said, getting the car uh, changed up for the feature. I uh, also like to thank Shimano Products, Spray Frame Alignment, Ken McKinn Construction. Nightworks Design, uh, Claw Synthetics, and Simple Energy, Energy Pre Exchange. Brandon Watson wins his fourth feature win of the, the season with the Oscar Super Late Model Tour, maintaining his spot atop the championship standings. For Oscar TV at the Peterborough Speedway, I'm Clayton Johns.